Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Houston, Texas at the Harris County Sheriff's Department where a frauditor has decided to do a First Amendment audit and, uh, well, gives his usual spiel, gets trespassed, and uh, then arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now, I will say this about this frauditor. He did keep the video short, but at least half of it is pretty much dead air of him walking around this uh, police department until he finds his target and then proceeds to antagonize until he gets trespassed. So let's go ahead and uh, fast forward through the majority of this dead air, shall we? That's much too early. Prepare to fast forward. Prepare to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. Oh yeah, Frauditor, that was such riveting content, such outstanding journalism, such stupidity, dude. Please leave the damn dead air out of there, or at least transform it into something a bit more entertaining. I'm good. You get back to Why work. Why are you recording me? You can get back to work. I'm working too, so. Oh, you call acting like a complete douche canoe voyeur uh, working? Uh, no, dude. Uh, all you're doing at this point is harassing this uh, employee right here. That's all you're doing. And that's what you can continue to do until you find yourself being surrounded by the local authorities in the building, you freaking moron. Yeah. This is weird. I don't know. Why is she locking the door? Uh, dude, she doesn't know who the hell you are. It's not the camera that's the problem. It's the person behind the camera. Why do you frauditors continue to change the narrative as if it's the camera that's the problem instead of, yeah, the idiot uh, who's uh, operating the camera that's the problem? I mean, it just makes you look like complete dumbasses for doing so. We all know who the true problem is, and it's you, not the equipment. Surely not the equipment. Turn uh, back to work. Oh, yeah. She don't understand. I need to, you need to exit this side. Why are you doing this? Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch Why me. are you doing this? What are you touching me for? Why are you recording me? Don't touch me, man. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm gonna... Oh no, she touched you. Oh, poor you. She touched you because you were acting a, like a complete dumbass in there. Oh, poor little baby. Where did she touch your camera at as well? Is it all right? Is it okay? Does it need a lollipop or do you need a lollipop? Okay. 
woman. Hey, that woman put her hands on me. That's what I want. You want I want her name. Why you want her name? Cause she put her hands on. Me. She touched me. I she just, didn't touch. I just, you Hold up. Well, not, you said she didn't touch me. I didn't know that. Nigga, you wouldn't even. I, I need. You weren't even over there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna ask you, okay? So I'm telling you, wait. I gotta record it. Yeah, so. I'm to yeah, you got it recorded all right. You got it recorded that you were practically right on top of her when she exited the office, so therefore she had to get you out of the way to get over here. But hey, that's about to be the least of your problems because you're about to be trespassed and arrested for your stupidity. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? get him off my 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 door and she i'm didn't asking say, nicely no she didn't she didn't this. say excuse me or nothing she just said why are you recording well, why, why and you she touched me going on her door are you are you trying to downplay the gravity of the situation no, no, right no, now i'm asking you what business are, do you have going on the office too i need her name bro she put her hands on me i need her name who your administrator Your supervisor. Look at this guy. Why is this? What's, okay. what's going on? Who's your supervisor? Who are you? Who are you? So I told you. you did it. Okay, so right, he's, he approaches my, my door. And look, at lie, Look at a lie, y'all. Look at a lie. Go ahead. Oh, now look at what we got here. We got a lying ass frauditor calling her a liar for pointing out the truth of the situation where you did approach her door. And, uh, well, to be perfectly honest, you are just like any other frauditor. You catch all your lies on camera, so you can't really deny that fact. Uh, Go ahead. And so I, I, I noticed I'm on the phone with my, one of the managers about okay. another uh, employee situation, and he comes over here, and I open the door. I said, "Sir, may I help you? What are, why are you recording? Because I know that he's recording." Mm -hmm. So he said he he doesn't want to talk. Mm -hmm. So I close the door, but then he starts doing this thing around, and then he, and then I walk out. I told my manager, "There's somebody on my door." recording mm -hmm. so i walk out at night and i'm trying to get out and then i notice what it says here on the screen illegally arresting a first amendment auditor uh this is the kind of thing that uh, frauditors do all the time. They try to portray being a First Amendment auditor as being this grand, wondrous thing that gives you immunity to everything, that puts you on this pedestal, that it means you are untouchable. Well, dude, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... The title of First Amendment Auditor is a self-ascribed title uh, that really doesn't mean anything to the rest of the world, and it doesn't give you any extra privileges. So shut your dang pie hole and realize that you are nothing, nothing but a complete and total waste of space. Okay. I got to touch his little glove I'll there. Take it, I'll take it. Hey, what's going on, man? Who are you? Sergeant, you said, what's going on? Okay, she put her hands on me. That's what's going on. Oh, how she put her hands on you? Put, put her hands on you and your device. She, what she, she put do? her hands on do? me. Okay, what happened? What happened? I'm doing what I do. Y'all working, right? No, I'm saying. She put her, what happened? What caused her to put her hands on you? I'm working, right? What, what, and y'all working. You're not answering my question. I'm what working. What caused her to put her hands on you? Doesn't matter. She shouldn't touch me recording. at all. What, Body I'm, word on oh, I'm asking you. Recording. What you mean? I was over there recording and she touched, came over there and touched me. She, touched she like, you? get out the way. Okay, and then what happened? Were you in her, 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 physical, her personal space or what? She didn't say excuse me. And no, I was outside the door. Mm -hmm. But I got it all recorded because like she came out and she like moved and she put her hands on me or whatever. So mm -hmm. I was just like, damn. So you go just put your hands on me? Now who's your supervisor? Who's your administrator? Like, I need that. I need the information. Well, what, do you, what do you need the information for? What you because she touched me. Like she okay, put her hands on me. You. What happened? Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, you whiny little crybaby. Tell us where it hurt. Tell us where she crippled you. Tell us where uh, she really hurt you at. Is it a charge? Does it matter? Yes, it does. Okay, well, then, yeah. If you want me to press charge, then yes. It, do it doesn't mean that's, right that's what you asked me, right? That's what you asked me. I said, did it hurt? Does it matter if it, it hurt or it not? Does no, matter. it doesn't. Show it, me. It does Show matter. Show me the statue. What, Show me the pinnacle. Yeah. The pinnacle for an assault? N for what it. you talking about? Google it. You no, I'm not. Okay, so I need her information, bro. You bullshitting hey, right hey, now. At this point, if at, I tell you leave this criminal trespass, I bet I don't. You, you get out. Go her. Do what you gotta do. Got your ID? I'm not gonna fight you.
Dude, do you know what's funny about this? Is the fact that you put the Texas Penal Code for trespassing on there like a second or two before he asked you to leave, saying that basically on there that nobody asked you to leave. Uh, well, he did ask you to leave, like, like I said, a second or two later. Did you really think anybody would not notice that little, well, hiccup of yours? He did ask you to leave, so you were trespassed, so you earned this arrest. Congratulations, dude. You are a freaking moron. Now enjoy the arrest. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?